Hi everybody, Jerome right here again, and um, I'm here today to discuss the, these um, these great floods that has been actually been happening. In this case, I want to talk about the deluge, the deluge, okay, um, about this great flood. It's my position, as everyone knows, that the Renaissance artist hides, uh, well, actually not hide, they actually have encrypted all of their artworks with that um, with facts in there contained there of the um, the ancient history and and um and called like ritual practice of genetic bridging of that of mankind. Um, it's also um, further said that these bridgings are actually bridged off of the ancient genetics of that of ape um, Africans. And it shows and depicts, these encryptions depict how mankind evolved from our original ancestors, which is that of ape. It shows how the other likenesses of mankind branched there off of um, 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 through genetic bloodlines and likenesses of that, uh, the later likenesses of mankind, which evolved from ape. Okay, now these were not random done acts these were specifically done through i'm stating through information that we have instinctively been equipped with from our place our origins of evolution okay which i actually know as well too i'm trying to find the right words here to um to um the the the, the, the ad here so just um, bear with me i'm not i'm just a lay person as you are i'm not a scientific person i'm not um, um, I'm not no specialist in any of these areas. You know what I mean? I'm just a, a, a normal guy that have had a paranormal experience and encounter, and I'm here to explain it to you in the best way that I can. Uh, it's always been my position that once I go mainstream, famous for all of this that I have discovered, that um, I'll have a team that will actually be able to explain it a whole lot better. And, um, and, um, in a scientific form. Now, this is the deluge. People tell me that you don't find this. This is by Door, okay? Gustav Door. People, please tell me that you 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 see something wrong with this image. Doesn't this image look unusual? Please tell me. Yes. You know, I mean, here you have a a tiger. It's like almost like a saber toothed tiger sitting here on this rock, and there's a flood. And you have all of these people, some drowning, some trying to get back up on the rock, and some trying to, you know what I mean, trying to stay survive, based on this flood here. People, tell me you do not find this to be a strange depiction of a flood. Sure you do. Let me translate what this means to you. Okay? The founding rock, I have already told you, represents that of ape, that of black man. Okay? So having said that, all you have to do now is add images to this rock, which you actually, actually see there. So what image is there, people? Here, let me help you. Let me help you see this. They are on a penis. There's the head. They are on a penis, people. Okay, uh, the rock represents the penis of that of the ape, that of black man. The penis of the of that creature is genetically bridged by these persons that you actually see here in these in these creatures. It shows you a genetic bridging, and that's why you see this tiger with his children, and then you see adults and with children. It shows you a genetic bridging, people through the penis, the genetics of that of our original um, creators, which is that of actually of ape and black man. Okay, um, I'm going to keep it rolling here. I'm going to bring up another image. This image that I'm bringing up is by Francis Danby. Francis Danby. It's an 1840 image of the deluge. Okay. This is the flood that I'm talking about, people. And then I'm oh, you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let Noah off the hook. The biblical figure Noah. I'm, make, I'm making my way to that as well too. All right. 
I just want to show you what this deluge is. A lot of people are feared and, and worrying about another flood happening. You got people out there searching for Noah's Ark and all of this stuff here. Look, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. Now, it's my position that I just showed you the penis of the ape. It's my position that this represents the founding stones of the ape. Now, this image by the Deleuze by Francis Danby, you can, you can pop, pop, well, you can Google the image. All you have to do is put Francis Danby in, people, and it's the Deleuze by Francis Danby. Google that image, because what you, you're going to see, what I'm going to highlight for you, is going to be truly amazing. My, it's my position, I just showed you a penis in, in the rock, okay, you probably said, well, I didn't really, I mean, that. I said it was the shape of a penis, but it's neither here nor there. But I'm going to keep doing this over and over again for you so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. All right, now, this is the Deleuze by, I got it crooked, but it's okay. It's the Deleuze by Francis Danby. I'm stating that the founding rock is that of eight. Okay, I'm going to keep it going here. It shows you how genetics were bridged with the penis or with the genetics of ape. And genetics were, some genetics were phased out and new genetics were formed. And that's why you see this angel here showing on the end here. But I'm not going to go into specifics. I'm just going to break this down because i got a lot of images that I'm going to show you. So the ape, I'm telling you that this is an ape right here. I mean that this represents the ape. So let me give you an ape. Go here and look, and in the rocks, you will see the face of an ape. There's the ape's mouth open, okay? You see these individuals climbing up on the face of the rock? The ape's eye socket is here, right there, okay? That's one ape. There's two apes, people. I'm going to see if I can bring this in closer without putting my marker on here. And I'm going to see if I can give you this ape without screwing this up here that's the one ape right there the second ape is right here in the shadows can you see that now i have to i'm over here on my timer here and i there's you see that faint face right there people google the image i'm over the eyebrows of the ape right there okay there is the likeness of an ape and I mean when I tell you that it is detailed it is detailed Google this image and go in there there is an eye there is an eye and the ape's face is so cleverly detailed in the shadows that it'll blow you away you, it's right there okay people so you got one ape and you got two apes right there alright this is Francis Danby's the deluge okay another flood it's my position that the flooding that they're talking about is the flooding of the genetics of that of the original our original ancestors which changed. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put up another image and I'm gonna stop because I was actually supposed to be reading it. This is this is another image to deluge in the light of modern science. And this is 1882 by who? Um by William Denton. Alright. Uh, I'm going to leave this up for one minute by William Denton. Can we go over there? Okay. This is by William Denton. Again, here is a founding stone. If you were to look at the image, you act people, you see where they are discussing it. You'll see images and faces, and, and you'll see that they're talking about the altering, phasing out the original founding stone uh, genetic building blocks of mankind and Noah actually took and genetically gathered all of these creatures that you see shown and genetically altered them and genetically bridged them and a new genetic was created and this is what the flood is all about they went back and flood and destroyed the other genetics now let me let me tell you what the deluge I want to read to you a little bit about the deluge and all let me see if I can do this with a um, the deluge is the name of a um, catastrophic um, catastrophic that's um, fully described in Genesis 6, 1, 9, 19 and referred to the following passage of sac sacred scripture. Wisdom, um, Isom, um, 
Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Wisdom. I'm not going to go through the, through, the, through the different scriptures. Anyway, I'm going to give you, this is the um, what's going on here. The book of Genesis gives the following brief account of the, of the deluge. Um, God sees the wickedness of man and determines to destroy them. Now, what in the world is this nonsense? If I'm showing you genetic bridging with all of these, I'm showing you apes and all, <clears throat> the man, uh, God just, um, 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 suggests that he's going to destroy all man. I'm showing you one Renaissance artist after another, and I'm not even finished yet, people. I got more, much more to go here. These people are genetically bridging. We're being destroyed gen genetically. I mean, these are the words they so they're saying of God. Okay, hold on. Um, God determined um, determines to destroy them, um, except uh, excepting Noah and except Noah and his family. Okay, they're destroying everybody except Noah and, their fa and his family. So genetically, Noah's being saved, and the rest of everybody's being destroyed here. Okay. He reveals his um, his decree to Noah and instructs him how he um, may save himself and seed all and, and seed all of animal life by means of the ark. Oh, hold on! I didn't even read this. I missed this part. He Noah instructs him. Um, hold on. He reveals his decree to Noah and instructs him how he may save himself and the seed of all animal life by means of an ark. Okay, by means of an ark to um to be built according to certain dimensions. Um, this is this is truly amazing, people. You know what I mean? This is crazy. Um, this this is this is just straight stupid. You know what I mean? My problem that I have with this is that these messages are loud and clear. I'm showing you, and what I'm gonna keep on going through these. I'm talking about these genetic bridgings and these penises and all that. If Noah, if God has shown Noah. They're claiming God showed Noah how to do this. Ge a genetically bridge that involves um, 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 all kinds of sexual acts. I'm talking about homosexuality. I'm talking about um, 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 being a pedophile. This bridging with his children. These bridging with these animals. If God showed, I mean, the, the, the Bible is saying that God showed Noah this. I mean, that what kind of God are these people worshiping? This is stupid, people. This is absolutely stupid. Now, I'm going to bring up another image. Here's another earlier image of, of Noah. I'm going to keep hammering away at this here. Your fear, again, your fear of this mess, these people are the worst. Are the worst. They're creating new genetics and, and destroying the old, meaning that you're on the list of being destroyed. Unless you know what this is and you don't know what this is. I'm actually showing you this. God didn't show you this. Jesus didn't show you this. Noah didn't show you this. Jerome Wright is sitting here showing you this. The Bible's not telling you this. Ancient literature not telling you this. Jerome Wright is. Let me let me um let me reduce this. I don't I hope I don't run out of time here because I sure hate to do another. I'm gonna show you here something. Can I get this? Alright, I'm going to probably need a smaller pen. Uh, a few minutes here wasted already. Alright, here we go right here. I'm going to show you something. This is an older, um, uh, you know what, I probably have this. Do I have this marked? Yeah, this is the story of Noah. Alright, this is the Gates of Paradise, 1420 by Le um, Lorenzo um, Gabardi. Gabardi. Alright, I'm going to show you this right quick, people. First of all, I'm claiming genetic bridging, all right, I, with animals and with mankind, death and resurrection. I'm talking about a cult-like ritual that's been around since the beginning. Okay, notice up here you have the elephant on the mountain, okay. Keep in mind that this all represents the, the, um, the founding stone, which is that of man, okay. Now, come down here, people. And begin to um, begin looking here. Here's the founding stone of man right here. On there, you will see on this founding stone here. Uh, I had this earlier, and now I can't see it because I'm looking at it from upside down. You'll actually see a deteriorating rock, and it has the image of an ape in there. Okay, I'm over the eyebrows now. And there's the eye. I had a much clearer image, but I'm gonna. There's a deteriorating image of the ape. So when you Google the image, look there. But hold on, it gets much clearer. Then it shows. Look, like the cauldron. Noah's at the at the um, 
After found these stones showing like the cauldron, Noah's cooking up new new chemistries, okay, and creating new genetics. You see his hands held in a way that actually creates that like of the dinosaur here. Okay, now these earlier images are more detailed than the um than the later. Then it shows the ape. Here's Noah's face looking up. There now I'm at the ape's mouth right there. There's the ape's nostril right there, and it shows the ape genes being altered through that of Noah. Okay, you'll see that there. But hold on, it still it still gets better. Now, now look at the elephant over here, and you see all of these genetics sliding down, and Noah's here at the end. Here's the elephant up here, and it shows these genetics. Watch this, watch this, people. It gets better. Come over here, and you see the woman here. Look at this. Look at these animals created in the clothing cloaked in the clothing right here look at this like the head of a calf right there in the shoulder of the woman let you see the path of these genetics you see that face there coming to light can you see that pretty good right there so when you google this image right there look there you will actually be able to see now there's something else here that I was actually looking at it actually gets better you got that you got that creature there and people and I mean the details are phenomenal too you know what I mean it shows you what she's wearing and what she's um she's doing genetically it shows you these genetic bridgings with these animals um look at this death and resurrection you have a body laid down it shows you genetic bridging crossing over look at the line also with the line on the back of the lion's head you see mutations that are actually shown Look at the lion. The lion doesn't even look like a lion. The lion looks like it's part eight, part lion, and part God knows I don't know what. I mean, but you will see these mutations. Take and take a look at this, people, when you um when you Google that image. I'm gonna go to another image, okay? I just wanted to point out those few things. One, two, three, four. Look at that. Death and resurrection, and look at how these founding stones is showing you how the founding stones of genetics are being altered. All right, I'm going to keep on going because I have other images here. And I don't want to run out of time. Here. This is the drunkenness of Michelangelo. I mean, uh, the drunkenness of Noah by Michelangelo. Sorry about that. And I want to show you something. Again, indicating the chemistry, the cauldron. Okay? Showing you that the founding stones, ancient genetics being bridged, dumped into the pot. Noah's children here naked. Keep this in mind. Noah's children here naked. It's showing you a genetic bridging that went into the body of Noah. Okay? And then it shows you also a genetic bridging with that of the ancient um oh gosh um oh gosh um where the tree symbolizes that there is a branching, a genetic branching. All right, I want you to keep going with this. Now, also, this is by Michelangelo. Also, when you Google this image, notice that Noah's face is here. He is genetically altered. Notice that there are other faces up in Noah's there. Okay, you will see other faces. Bearded man there in the face of Noah, and then there's one on the back. Okay, so go and look at this here. Noah's head is down, showing you that Noah died genetically, and these new genetics took off in there. You'll see a man's face on this side, and you'll see a woman. You'll see splicing in the head of Noah right here. Okay, it shows you genetics coming in. Um, Noah utilized his own children to genetically bridge himself, people. All right, I gave you this image already. I'm going to keep going real fast here. Got another 10 minutes. I'm going to try to go through these images real quick. Remember that I explained this. I have a video on this already about Noah. But my biggest thing with this is look at this giant penis after it's showing you that it's been altered. Because, look. Hanging here. Alright, I'm going to keep on. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to just show you how this stuff is in front of your face that you don't see. This here is William Bell Scott's 1865, the eve, the eve of the deluge. The deluge. This is these floodings, the eve of the deluge. Okay? Here's Noah's boat being built. 
Now you have all of you. Sh you it showed you bridging. These people going in. Now check this out. People going in. It shows you a big um, um, a pot here. Okay. It's showing you genetics going into the boat, and it shows you that this guy here has his cup out to take these genetics in. The genetics are bridged with this guy. It's showing you the genetic bridging. Then it shows you that the genetics went in, and this guy has drank in the genetics. And then it shows you splicing back here. Okay, that's what this is all about: genetic bridging, um, a collection of all these genetics, and then flooding other areas and other cities with these genetics. Okay, you see the cup out. G look, give me some of those genetics. I want some of that. The blood and the sperm is showing you that these genetics were taken out. The blood and the sperm, and it actually given to, uh, is, is actually genetically bridged to others, and then it was spliced and others taking it out. Okay, and that's what this is all about. Now I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep on going here because I wanna, I wanna actually make sure that. Now. This is, do I have a name on this? I don't have a name. Uh, this is Noah shown her here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain this real quick. What are we at here? Okay, because I'm on 21 minutes. All right, good. Here, again, Noah's Ark. There was never a great flood. The only, it was, it was a genetic flood where genetics were altered on a mass scale, and these genetics were altered. They're on the founding stone, which represents eight. These guys are showing you where these genetics are taken out of the founding stone, meaning that of eight. They, they were taken into their bodies. Then it shows you that these genetics were bridged. It shows you a little boy. Okay, the same thing that I think I showed you with, um, with Isaac, and I think his father's name is Adam there, that um, where they used the little kids' genetics to alter, genetically bridge them. It is my position that this little boy... Shown with this scrap piece of wood, there's nothing here that that would indicate why this this child would have this piece of wood with that peeled back. It's my position that that represents a penis with the um, foreskin pulled back, and it shows you that it goes in Noah's mouth. He's genetically bridged, and how do I know that? Because over here you have that person with their finger in their mouth, indicating a um an entry of an object in the mouth. Okay, so th if I'm speaking on genetic bridging, then this image is showing you that this little boy genetically bridged Noah. And if you look closely at the image, back up in here, can I kind of show you this here? Look back up in here in the trees, there's an image of an ape right there. Look at this, people. I'm drawing, I hope you can see this. And guess what it has? reptilian like lips right there there's a nostril I hope you can see this as I'm drawing this up and right there okay yeah you can look at this people this is what this is all about if you can see that there then down here it shows you there was a reptilian ape there then it shows you the serpent how these genetics were altered coming down Noah's lip, which represents Noah's penis shows you what comes in and then what goes out okay now I'm gonna keep on going because I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy this whole entire story of Noah alright this is my last image so I can actually take a little longer on this here Okay, I can slow down some. I know I move kind of fast for you. This enables you people to go and look at the story of Noah in a different way and look at the images and for, for what it really actually is. These images of Noah, these great floods, people, I mean, really, t tell me, you cannot make sense of them. But what I'm saying makes absolute sense. If there's a genetic bridging on such a mass scale, there has to be a reference, there have to be records. Look at this here. Shaped again, like the cauldron. The witch's kettle, the cooking pot. Now, not in the sense of really cooking people, so don't get it twisted. I'm not talking about cooking. I'm talking about an altering of chemistry. The pot is associated. It just gives us, it makes the insinuation of all, a combination of genetics being stirred and, 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 and churned 
into a new genetic. I mean, when I say melting pot, I'm not talking about an open fire and cooking and all of that. No, people. I'm talking about them being able to take a chemistry of genetics from uh, 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 from one side of um of creation, which represents the ancient building block, and then take and genetically alter it by actually flooding it with other genetics to create a new genetic, okay? Here, Noah's Ark shows you these different levels, shows you these bridgings. Look at the animals down here. Then it shows you another level where, they, where, where these genes are genetically bridged. You come up here, and look, they, and, and what kills you is that they actually take and phase where you where there is a um, where there is a realization of what is actually happening here. You don't see the images. Notice that some of these um, these paintings and stuff actually are always missing something because what it happens is it shows you these genetic bridgings where these animals are here, mankind is here. It shows you the mutations and it always shows you that something is missing or, or destroyed or or, um, or or graffiti covers up the actual image of what it's supposed to be. You ever notice that that where there is truth to be known or be learned, it's, it's always something taken out. But check this out. Here's all the levels of this genetic bridging. And then it shows you these two from different areas. Look, showing you by the, 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 the different home style. You'll be able to tell by the, the style of the homes. That they're standing on top of the house. And look at the top here. They're removing the genetic block. They're removing what was created. All of these genetics was changed. Mutations made, a new building block made, and then look, it's lifted aloft by these two genetic bridging at the top. And it shows you that these genetics were created. Same thing here with the building of the ark with this little boy. The same message being told. The ark being created all of these boards, you, it showed you these different levels. Look, that these people showed you genetically bridged with Noah's Ark. Now, you already know all of these animals are in there already. You know what I mean? It shows you that it's genetically bridged through the different levels of Noah's Ark. And then it shows you that, this, that the building blocks were taken out by them. This little boy bridged, and now he's giving it to Noah to, be, um, to rebridge it back again into the masses this is what this is all about people if you look at these images they all have the same exact message all of these genetics taken in and then it shows you something that was removed now I have something with Michelangelo where I just did that image with Michelangelo and it showed you the same thing and I just did that I've, hopefully I might be able to find that I just did that I thought yesterday and I'm running out of minutes here where when Michelangelo did a, oh yeah, here. Here's a similar thing with Noah here. I have the image right here. Everything that I'm stating, check this out. I'm going to go through this real slow before I close this out because I'm running out of time here. These shows you all of these genetics taken into one area. And then it shows you that they were, that they were um, manipulated and altered. All com in, in combination in unison. And then the building block taken out. And it shows you that they're lifting it off the top. Taking it out off two sides. It's splitting. Taking it out. Okay. And it shows you where it's going based on these um, these, these style of homes. Of where these genetics took off and where they went to. Now it's, it's, it's genetic manipulation and contamination in, in, my, in, my, um, in my, um, my layman terms work. Here's Michelangelo stating the same exact thing with Noah. And then I'm going to end it on this right here. All of those different animal genetics mixed in, genetically bridged through the founding stone, which represents that of ape and that of black man. And look, right here, the same exact thing. Showing you after they were altered, here's your genetic strands that was taken out through blood and semen right here. See that? Cocktail of genetic alterings. And then here's what's taken out. And this is how mankind has been genetically altered since the beginning of time. This is how you got your look. This is how um, black, be um, black was black. White became white. Um, Japanese became Japanese. This is how... Um, oh, gosh. I mean, 
you you name it. I'm not going to go through them all. Chinese became Chinese. This is how we got all of our different likenesses around the world, people, through genetic bridging and through genetic bridging. And what kills me is that they're saying that God told Noah what he needed to do. And then God said that he was destroying everybody else. So, based on their own admissions, their God, because he's not my damn God, is destroying mankind genetically and he showed Noah what to do and my position is that everybody that is in worship and in unison with this today then this is what they are doing they are destroying us genetically I'm gonna go with that my time is up um, you're watching Jerome Wright on his Jeronification channel um, you can follow me on my alien UFOs channel as well people um, this is a mess this is a mess yep I'm out <laughs>